Meanwhile, new at six Tampa Bay parents tonight telling us they're in the middle of a child care crisis. Thousands of families are now on waiting lists as they scramble to find places for their young children to be cared for while they work. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is taking action for you, going in depth to get the answers about why these spots are so hard to come by and the solutions now in the works. <laughs> Sophie Sanderlin is getting a lot of extra time in with her kids these days. The Clearwater mom has spent seven months looking for childcare for Ava and Ezra across three different cities. Up in Safety Harbor, up in Palm Harbor, over in Dunedin, and none of them had availability. In Pinellas County alone, more than 3,000 children are currently on wait lists for childcare. One of the schools said they're two years out the waiting list. It's really, really, really tough. Stephanie Van Riper has called more than 40 places looking for a spot for her kids, relying on babysitters so that she can continue to work. You can't expect your employer to, you know, not have an employee so they can take care of their kids for six weeks. We went to Facebook to ask parents about this problem and nearly 140 people weighed in. Some of you asking if the pandemic is causing a shortage in spots. We pulled the numbers in Hillsborough County in the spring of 2019 pre pandemic. There were 1072 child care facilities. This spring, there are 1047 child care facilities. That means there's 25 fewer child care facilities now compared to pre pandemic. In Pinellas County in spring of 2019, there were 693 child care facilities. This spring, there are 634. That means there are 59 fewer child care facilities now compared to pre pandemic. So although the numbers show that some centers have closed during COVID, child care workers tell us that the bigger problem is they can't get staffing in the existing facilities, so they can't even take as many kids as they're licensed for. About 40% of our providers have a waiting list due to staffing shortages. So that represents a gosh, that represents about 300, 400 providers um, throughout Pinellas County. It's concerning for Lynn Gibson, who has headed up a licensed at home daycare in Pinellas County for 34 years. I really think this is a crisis. As the kids in her care nap, Gibson spends her time calling lawmakers and asking for help. We've taking it all the way to Congress, trying to say we need help out here. You know, you need to support us because without it, we can't keep going. Child care coalitions on both sides of the bay are working to train more early learning workers while making the jobs more attractive. We offer sign on bonuses, free training. Of course, they connect with uh, potential employers. But time is of the essence. The Early Learning Coalition says 17% of child care centers in Pinellas County are at risk of closing because of staff shortages, putting parents in a pickle. I just considered homeschooling maybe. <laughs> Don't know what to do at this point. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Meanwhile, the lack of child care is also having a huge impact on the workforce. According to the National Women's Law Center, the labor force now has one million fewer women working than it did when the pandemic actually began. The center says the cost of child care now amounts to 31% of the average income for women.